back and yes very much strike the earth we've just gotten to this place and it's probably where I'm gonna end up uh, cutting it so that the video starts here for most general YouTube stuff anyway hello everyone all those new here I'm Akir Drar and we have just embarked we have a little bit of uh, area here and it actually goes down it's got a little tree there that's cute what kind of soil are we dealing with? We're dealing with clay loam. Not the best, but um, it looks like we've got a relatively uh, dense pebble plant. Okay, we've got cacti at least. That's always fun. They look quite a bit different from the regular trees. We're in a desert grassland sort of mix, and you can definitely tell in here because it's <laughs> it's a bit of a mix. Uh, I don't know. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Oop. Wrong way. Okay. We have the advanced start where I do not have any tools at all, which means I will have to be building some things right away. Uh, though first up, we are going to assign some things just because I can. The leader will be the diagnoser. And he will also be the manager, the medical dwarf, and the broker. Or wait, no, why? Oh, because he didn't change his name yet and he's weird. Okay. Yeah, now he's expedition leader. I guess it was just doing its weird thing. Military, or let's just go to him. New squad. No specific armor at the moment. The scholarly daggers. Sure, why not? And now we have the military, technically. Uh, what was that over here? That's a honey badger. Well, that's a thing. We have a honey badger. We are not dealing with an aquifer, so I can dig down anywhere I want. But first up, as I said, this is an advanced start. So we will need to first build a wood furnace. A smelter and backup workshop forge metalsmith forge there we go and I am going to oops, hello you are enraged uh, um, kill honey badger Okay, um, health. The farmer is hurt, and one of the stray dogs was hurt. Ha, huh, that wasn't expected. Um, uh, first of all, I guess I'll go through and, uh, well, I did technically set the one dude with the architecture already. I'm going to go through and, uh, set everyone to have architecture. Wait, nope, you're the one that actually had it to start with. Never mind. Uh, actually, no, I should go through um, all these so far where, yes, you get all of the metal smithing. Just as a thing. Uh, the farmer gets all of farming. And we will give you architecture. Expedition leader. I'm going to give you crafting. We are indeed in the desert. There we go. And actually with that we'll also want um build workshop. It's one of those things where I'm like, do I want to build some stuff? Um looks like we've now got two humped camels in the area. That shouldn't be too bad. Uh what kind of animals did we come with? Oh uh, we've got a yak and a two humped camel of our own. That could be a thing. And it's a male. Never mind. If it was a female, we'd have a chance of getting one of them born just because it's here. Make charcoal. Uh, wood might be a little bit... Oh, right. I could make the stuff out of wood. Um, and we do have trees around, so it won't be too much of a problem. Workshop. Leather work.
butcher shop, craft shop. Is that what I want? Yeah, we'll go with craft shop. Because we already put up the. Oh, no, Tanner. Build workshop, Tanner. No. What are you? Tanner, N. Um, planted or head to the hill. You don't. This is the entire play area that we have right now. You can obviously make it bigger at the start. I chose a 3x3 three three area though, so this is what we've got. And we will make it refuse pile. Right there. That way no one needs to move it. <laughs> um, yes and no. It, it really just depends on where you start. Like right here, it's a flat terrain. There's a couple of downs, but overall you're just fine. Like, you don't need to move because there's nowhere to move to. Oh, hello. Was that a... Um... Bad dog. Bad dog. Don't do that. I don't think that'll actually keep them in there. Why are you hurting a camel? Don't hurt the camel. Have to follow, cause there we go. Leave the camel alone. Uh, unsuspend that. Unsuspend that. That's why they weren't finished. Derp. So the important things, these are just because I killed the wooden badger, but wood furnace to make charcoal, smeltery to smelt the stuff, then metalsmith to actually get stuff done. Are you finished? Not quite. Are you fi there we go. Finished. Now here we have two options. We can smelt hematite ore, or we can smelt the bitness coal. The answer is we're going to smelt bitness coal, and you will be able to see why relatively shortly. Do, 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 do. Uh, this is the one downside of the advanced start. It is relatively slower at doing this, but on the other hand, you got a lot more control, and it you get things cheaper that you normally want. But here, eight coke, or I think it's eight, uh, a significant portion of coke. The, uh, Coal coke. Or just one thing of that. And, uh, just because I don't want things to... There we go. There we go. So it doesn't ever rest. We have a bit more of the coke to work with. We're smelting one thing of hematite ore. Which will get us four iron bars. With those four iron bars... We want to make two things of pig iron, which are going to take a flux and an iron bar to make. We'll let them finish that bitness coal nonsense. Looks like the animals are staying in that place relatively easily with that. Uh, the biggest problem is the grazers will not have much to graze on. Okay, and it's making the pig iron bars. Here we go, finish one operation of that. With that we can go and make two operations of steel bar. Each operation takes an iron, a pig iron, a flux, and fuel. And we'll make two steel bars. So you're not getting any loss out of it, but it does take a bit to do. And we're actually going to have to let him finish both of those operations just because he's also the person that does the metal. Um, there is actually one thing. Um, 
you, dude, the one that we had crafting is a uh, glass making part of that. Yeah, build a glass furnace. We're gonna put it here. Um, I think I had bags. I should have had bags. And that will be a sand area where they can collect sand from. And we will allow... Is it finished goods or furniture? I think it's in furniture. The biggest pro... Well, actually, no, I don't need that. I'll just leave it alone for right now. Did you finish that? You did. Okay, now... Weapons, steel... Pick, battle axe, crossbow, bolts. And this is only because I only have one digger and one person to chop trees, otherwise I would need more of each of those. But this will use up all the steel we currently have, which it hurts a bit. Because it's definitely a lot more resource intensive. Uh, if we went the bronze route, what it would have been is just make bronze from ore. And suddenly you have eight bronze. And it's like, perfect. I'm good with that. Collect sand. Oh, um, oh yeah. Collect sand. Just put that on a repeat and whatnot. And I think we had two bags. So it'll probably collect two bags. Yep, canceled. And we have two red sandbags of wolverine leather. With that, we can make green glass. We have various options for this green glass. We can make boxes, cabinets, coffins, all kinds of stuff. Um, things of note, goblets for trade fodder, because goblets always. You get three of them per an operation. So one stone or glass or turns into three goblets. Good stuff. Also now needed for drinking, so there's that. A pot, which is, if I remember correctly, like a barrel. Um, it's glass, you shouldn't need to glaze it. So yeah, a pot. It's basically a barrel. I think portal is just door. Got tables, we've got thrones, blocks. Blocks are important. I'm not going to make it at the moment, though. No. Um... Anything overly important, or am I just going to make... I'm very tempted to just make some uh, goblets at the moment, because we definitely use them. Um, we need a table for the one dude office and we'll make goblets for oop, oop, oop. oop there's red uh no it's just two empty candles did he finish the pick okay yeah he, he more than finished the pick actually for that we could come in here uh this is where you assign ammunition to the hunters and your military squads relatively important. We will be doing bolts. Material of metal will be for combat only. Uh, we only have one dwarf, so 100 bolts is way more than enough. Um, actually, yeah, we have the badger leather. That's good. That's good. With that, we can actually go and make a quiver. Uh, normally, at this point, I would butcher one of the animals for it, but since we've already had that happen, we're going to go with that. Uh, and we need to get that stuff inside somewhat quickly. Um, do I want to build in the center center, or do I want to... What kind of stuff is there? That kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of quantum stockpiling. For those of you that do not know what that is, that is where you make it so that dwarves literally dump everything in a single spot. Uh, 
classically done by making a dump order and just have them dump it there and they'll all just dump on the same spot just because in this case I'm doing it to clear out that center area because I want to turn that into the uh, way down it will relatively quickly have a area that's a lot better um, the question is how deep does it go with the sand? Yeah, it's getting pretty good. I technically don't have to do this. I could just deconstruct it. The problem is it would spread everything all out. By doing it this way, the things are ending up on one spot, which happens to be, quite conveniently for me, a uh, stockpile and I'm pretty certain two, three, four, five. Yeah. if I remember correctly stockpiles make things less likely to end up all rotten with that I just set up to cut down some trees in the vicinity actual trees because we have the grassland Let me bash your quiver. Why aren't you grabbing the quiver? Do you are you shouldn't have a quiver already. Oh, right, military equipment. I need to actually tell you to go and use a crossbow. Because steel crossbow, but crossbow nonetheless. And then you will also go and grab your quiver. Yep, there we go. And steel bolts. Perfect. Oh, and that's actually relatively good quiver bolt, or good quality bolts, so that's always nice. That's almost done, and then we can dig down from there after I deconstruct it. Deconstruct that. And reclaim all that so that they don't think they don't have any food. Hmm, excuse me. One, two, three, four, and an up staircase. Just to get an idea of what the underground area is going to be like. Only two layers of soil. Hmm. Not the best. And cinnabar. Of course, cinnabar. Okay. With that out of the way, I'm going to uh, just get the rest of these. These upstairs will eventually turn into regular up and downstairs once I go beyond this level. The moment I'm just digging it out. This shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be. Looks like I'm going to pay the world a little bit. Don't need you. You should actually have stuff in you, so I probably don't want to. You got the fat. Apparently. Oh, that's probably. Mm. Yeah, the badger stuff rotted. <sighs> Shame. There's something wrong with that. Yes, and there's the table, and there's the three goblets. That's good.
Now we need a few things. First of all, we need a farm. Do not want to do it on this level, so we will do it on this level. Uh, that's black sand. Oh, that's nice. Okay. The farm I'll have go up. Actually, I'm just going to dig out the basic wall shape right there. Uh, no, you can't use it for farming, sadly. Once it is rotted, you cannot use it. Um, there's probably a mod out there that makes it so you can. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, let's see. The farm is going there. This level. We'll want the office for the one dude. Which can be relatively small to moment since he's not very important. Um we we'll want a place for the dwarves to sleep. So this is a relatively lower priority than the others. So uh, setting priority relatively nice because it lets you actually make it so dwarves don't instantly rush out and do random stuff. Um, since there's so few, I'll just give them some 3x3 three three rooms. Nope. I can make that one too big. And actually, hmm. I don't like doing it directly like this. So I'm going to change that up a bit. I did spend a little bit of time on it, but it's better to get my idea down now. This will be the bedroom region. Uh, this is about a classic shape for what I tend to do. Just a small little area, and this will branch off this way as well. The reason I do it like this is by putting the entrance here, it's closer, so they have less distance to travel in the end. And because of how it is, I can extend the design. I've used really fancy designs in the past, especially vertical stacking ones, but overall I don't need anything too fancy for this. That's eight rooms, technically I don't even need one of them, so that'll be good. Um, and over here, even less important, but still somewhat important, I'm going to have a Church of All Gods. Uh, basically, if you let them pray, they get a lot happier. And we'll have a back row for stuff. Actually, I want that to be even, so we'll just... We'll do that. Uh, quite lucky that this is a soil level. That means that we can just plant the farm on it directly. If we were trying to do it on a level like this where it's stone, you'd actually have to flood it with water. Uh, I hardly ever do that. I've done it in the past just to do it, but in the end, it... I tend to rate it as not being worth it. We're going to have that stuff being dumped as well. That way we have all the starting buildings taken care of. That way we can uh, relocate them underground as I prefer. 
Uh, and while that's happening, I'm going to go over here, Google, get me Google Drive, please. Google, Google Drive. Google Drive. Give me Google Drive. Oop, hello. Hit Smoky Quartz. Not that important. Do what I say, not what I do. Go to Google Drive, yes. Actually, I should probably set it to follow the miner since he's the only one doing anything right now. Okay. Uh, Dwarf Fortress Crop Rotation. There we go. I have a uh, crop rotation uh, thing. Oh, well, I'm, I'll have to uh, expand that when I get to actually doing it. Dang it, he fell asleep. Okay, this is actually almost done. Farm plot. I have it set up so I can have... Is this the setup? One, two, three. Three, one, two, three, and there's a spare space. Okay, um. I kind of wish this wasn't here, or else I'd doing on those edges. Um, hmm. Actually, no. Or, no, stop. Don't do that. Stop that. Build, farm plot. Farm plots. Get those set up. Miner actually should be around digging somewhere since he's not sleeping. Okay, yeah, finish that room. Uh, we do not have doors at the moment. Now I'm thinking about. Hmm. Eh. Life will go on. Build table. Put that glass table there for him. I do not like that being there. Go do that now. And actually just finish up on this level in general. And it looks like the farms are actually set up so we can deal with them. Okay. Maximize this on the other screen. Let's see. Plot. Spring, we want sweet pod, yeah, sweet pods, sweet pod, summer is pigtail, fall is pigtail, winter is plump helmet. Next one in the spring is Sweet Pod. Summer is Cave Wheat. Fall is Pigtail Ken. And then once again, some Plump Helmets. Spring, some more Sweet Pod. Summer, once again, Cave Wheat. Not pigtail, but instead quarry bush, and then dimple cup. This last one's quarry bush. Cave wheat. Quarry bush. Dimple cup. There we go. It basically gives all the different crops a certain time of the year to grow at. Spread out. And there's the gems, actually. Uh, so this room will be relatively nice, even though it's utter junk. Um, okay, deconstruct that table and move it one back.
And the other thing we need is crafting. Or, tavern and crafting. That's a good point. Um, we do not need the tavern right away. We'll set it over here. Actually, there we go. And obviously, we're going to expand more rooms over here, but this place will be actually taking up exactly as much space as these would. I don't know. Um, should I make it bigger? This is how much across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whereas this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Um, with that in mind, actually I should go move that and change this out to being sixes. We can make one the temple and the other one the tavern. Quite important in Dwarven society, both of them. Sign to the expedition leader. That way... Why are you... Oh, um... That's not actually... Hmm. Never mind. I built the wrong thing. I need throne or chair. Well, it happens. Hmm. I guess I should let him dig more. With that in mind, I can come up here and disable all this. Actually, I could just want to done food, but whatever. Enable food, not prepared meals. Prepared meals will go somewhere else. Just a small starting area. And hopefully none of the food outside went bad. That would be annoying. Block all, and actually, right, seeds. You do not get seeds. And you do not get barrels, because the barrels are the bane of my existence whenever I get them with the seeds. Because the bags and the bear... Oh, God, it's just so messed up. <sighs> it just happens. Well, since it's like this, I guess I'll build a workshop carpenter shop. Build over here where it's somewhat centered on the trees. Give me a smelter and a wood furnace set up again. I wasn't intending to make it for this yet, but... Uh, what are you? You're a porcupine. Well, that's cool. Are there any others? No, you're the only one around right now. Things I need to do early on is set up the military training area. How's the digging going? Digging is going okay. 
We'll put it at the same level. This will be where the military stuff goes on. And we'll have it right above the farm. One, two, three, four, five, one over, two. There we go. Uh, that's actually a little, well, no, because I'm going to, hmm, good point. Um, I say to myself, clearly expecting you to all hear my own thoughts. Okay, I want an actual area where training can happen between normal people. Normal people. That's a horrible way of saying it, but it gets the point across. Okay. This area would be good for normal stuff. Or training that involves not the other training. Uh, bow training. Actually, I can record this real quick. Um, I'm going to use a macro right now. The way that you make a macro is control R, and then all the commands you enter after that are recorded. So boom, boom, boom. Control R again to finish, as it is an unnamed one. You could control S to name it, control L to load previous ones that you saved, or just control P to play it. And finally, control U, which set that up, and then you put in a number, and then control P, and it'll repeat it the number of times you put up to 99. With that, we quickly went and set this up. In the init file, there's uh, something macro speed or some, and if you don't put that up to a decent speed, it's going to take forever for it to work, but that's just how it is. Now, the way this is going to work is this is just a barracks area here, up here, across here or across here. Somewhere in here, there's going to be a place where wood bolts are going to be stored. Huh. Someone was really moving a lot of stuff there really quickly. That's weird. You know, not that important. Uh... We are not going to smelt any more metal at the moment, though we will smelt a couple of bitness coal. Pick up a good amount of that. Yeah. At this point, I am uh, feeling a bit bad about not having more mining dwarves, but it's a thing. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll make eight beds, because we do technically have eight rooms. Uh, we could do work orders, but I'm not sure if they'd work out how I want. Sand, repeat now. I don't know if we have any spare bags. Okay, we've got one spare bag, two spare bag, and cancellation. Green glass. Chair? Throne, throne, green glass throne, and a green glass. We're going to do another set of goblets. Nope, oh, too far. Um, don't want anything else specifically. Once again, no, 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 whatever. No, I'm going to make the uh, doors out of wood. Which might seem weird, but that's just because I like the way wood doors look. Er, hmm. There's a good point. I don't know how this looks, so... Let's make a couple portals then, see what it looks like. Because if it looks cool, we'll definitely go with it. Profile... Uh, all right, I'll let the uh, one thing uh, figure itself out. Uh, plants are being planted. 
rooms are being dug out. What is that? That's cinnabar. Doesn't have any particular uses. It's just red. Yep, we got it now. Perfect. And that was actually relatively quick. Hmm. The biggest thing is that the moment while I do have a bunch of coke there, I do not know for certain I'll have a bunch of coke forever. So I can't really go and just be like, make all of it. Um, we'll make an armor stand for the one place. Uh, we're gonna need boxes. Glass, another box, another box. Three boxes for the temple area to start with, that'll be fine. Uh, we'll have to do some kind of instruments for it as well. Uh, did I make more? Okay, we made goblets, that's good. Yeah, I'm definitely regretting not having more miners. On the other hand, we were very edge of not having any sort of uh, the uh, word, words fail me. Uh, oh, summer. 